Hello everyone and welcome back here to the Rim World. Had so many problems with uh, my existing world that unfortunately I decided to give up on it. In the end, the uh, colonists were refusing to farm, even indoors in the hydroponic tables, which actually made it impossible to play. They were starving to death, they were freezing to death because uh, for some reason nothing would attack me so I couldn't get any warm clothes for them and the cold of winter that was causing real problems. So in the end I decided it was time to start again and here's a perfect opportunity to update to the next alpha version which is alpha 9. The fact I'm picking it up means that alpha 10 will probably be out in a week's time, you know how it is. But for now let's start a new colony, shall we? So new colony, Cassandra Classic is the, uh, the standard AI storyteller which starts off with simple opponents and then ramps up the uh, the danger as you go through and we'll set it to challenge which is the standard challenge mode so there we go and a new uh, a new world for a new alpha spicier quadrus and i'm thinking about going back for another boreal forest run if i can do that the next time round i will do a desert run perhaps to uh balance things out but uh, let's see what we've got here um, how about there okay so average temperature is above freezing but uh, in January it will go down to minus 14.2 degrees centigrade highest temperature is 18.8 it's got Sandstone, limestone, and gra granite, and the growing period is May to August, so that's actually not too bad for this area. It's going to have some mountains, and it's going to have plenty of trees as well, so wood is going to be a fairly easy resource to deal with. Let's give that one a try, so we'll select that site, and let's have a look at our people. Tui Von Doom who is incapable of intellectual and crafting but makes up for it by being fairly good at mining and are really really interested in construction he's psychically insensitive unfortunately which she I should say which might cause problems but we'll deal with it but it's also trigger happy which means that she cho shoots twice as fast but is half as accurate Lane who is a female human colonist who's age 34 but has lived for 63 years uh, okay so what would that be about 29 of those have been spent asleep in a crypt to sleep casket really likes growing loves the cold that's going to help us and has a lot of enthusiasm for a few bits and pieces i think we can live with that and hey house the hunter who is incapable of crafting and cleaning but has a reasonable passion for growing, is great at shooting in melee, and looks like they're going to be our doctor. Okay, I think we can live with these people. Let's make a start and see where we end up. And the first thing I'm going to do, once this map is generated, just have a quick look around and see where we should stay, make our base. Okay, I don't know what happened there, but uh, something happened to stop the recording. And you you missed a bit of the start up of the base, but not that much. I mean, we've, we've set out a storage area here and a couple of farming areas here. We're growing potatoes there and corn there. And that's about it, really. All the, the other thing we've done is we started mining out an area here which I think we're going to expand now into uh, our first room in the base. So we have walls there, walls there. That looks about the middle. So we'll have a couple of doors there and we'll just put, fill that in with walls along like that. There we go. So that's our our first area and when that's done they will fill that in quite nicely the other thing I want to do is I want, just want to make this a wood flooring 
to stop stuff from growing there to be honest with you and once that's done we'll put in a power source start lighting up and get the cooking going and all the other bits and pieces that need to be done reason I want that floored off first is I'm gonna put a couple of wind turbines down this two wide gap here and that will provide us the basis of end, uh, our production they don't work quite as well as solar power but they provide power all the time which is going to be much better for us and there's our first mushroom it's a good time to talk about what mods I have in this game there's two mods on at the moment the first one is cave world fu um, fungus which is three different mushroom types which grow in the dark in stone like this and uh, they both they all three of them have different effects and we'll see them from time to time the other one is um, it's a mod which makes it possible to put the fire uh, fires out if they get to the middle of geothermal generators or solar panels which was really really frustrating okay so everyone knows you don't want to stay on this rock for long but Dowie is suggesting that you give the colony a name anyway what should it be called hurrah let's call it hurrah welcome to the colony of hurrah so there we go These shrimp mushrooms and things like that, I might actually try farming them during the winter. Just set up a, a room in inside the mountain somewhere and make the floor... Uh, if we don't smooth the floor, this stuff will grow. So it's simple as that, really. And thinking of smoothing the floor, this area, it almost looks like it's, it's working well. Can we... Oh no, it's over here, isn't it? So let's hide the zones. Yep, that looks like that flooring is almost done. Just got to cut the trees down to do the last few bits and pieces, and cutting those trees down will give us more wood, which is great. So let's start working on the next bit, which is going to be power generation. So I'm going to want a wind turbine there, and I want a wind turbine there. Okay. Which reminds me, I need to put a dump in. Who are these guys? A group from Cantos, Brexius Toll, are visiting the colony. Okay, that's nice. Uh, let's have a look at the factions. Archaeologist Stream. Don't particularly like us, but they're not hostile. Honesty's Mesa. Uh, fairly good off with us, but aren't friends. Canto, Brexius Toll. Again, don't particularly like us. And then there's two hostile ones, the Night Gorillas and Vengeance Band. Both are pirates. So unless I do something stupid, I'm unlikely to be attacked by tribes. So my real worry is pirates and mechanoids. But I'll deal with those later on. Okay, so... Another group are visiting the colony. How nice. It's just a great being popular. Alright, so... Okay, so we got that going. Let's, let's actually put a bit more work in here. I want to make a frozen area. I want to make quite a large frozen area. Okay, so let's put some mining orders in here. Oh, that's a good start. Right, so six... There we go. So that will make a nice, um, a nice big storage area. And I also want to put in here a corridor. And this is going to be the start of our living area. Be the idea here is I want to pump the heat out from here into this corridor, and the excess heat from the corridor will go into this live this this cook kitchen area, and then finally the heat exchangers will just pump it out into the outside world. So, uh, last time round, didn't quite have it that way, but I think this is going to work quite nicely. So, mine like that, like that, and we'll have door like that, and mine like that, I think. And then we can start putting rooms in around here, so we can have the first few bedrooms here. One there, 
one there and one there yeah okay so we'll, we'll get people to mine those later on but that's a, a big chunk of mining a local squirrel has gone mad try not to worry about that too much oh, somebody's already being attacked who's being attacked Uh, that's our mad squirrel. Okay, draft you, attack the squirrel. I want to help draft you as well. And melee attack the squirrel. Let's try not to shoot each other. There we go, excellent job. That squirrel will not disturb the countryside anymore. Good work. Alright, you guys get back to hauling there. And Lane was hurt, so let's make yours a medical bed. Who is our doctor? Hay House. Okay, so. What the hell? Oh, they don't like each other. Okay, let's have a look at, look at Val. Val is a chief. A male warrior of Canto Braxius Toll. Incapable of cleaning, hauling, and plant work. But is a reasonable researcher and is quite passionate about a lot of things, including crafting. You know what? I think we might actually bring you into the colony. So, let's do something here. Okay, right. Architect. Structure. Wooden wall. Like that. And like that, I was going to build this room or something akin to it later on anyway, so put it in like that. If you're still alive when that's done, then we will we will get you into the gr into the group. So right. Well, that was a an interesting little fight going on there. Dowie has started doing some mining for us. Let's get that guy stripped. And Hay House. Prioritize working on a wooden wall. Good work there, man. Good work. That's excellent. That's enough. So we can put in... Let's just put in... A sleeping spot like that make that for prisoners and who do we have out of about lane you are hauling cloth tribal wear I think what I actually want you to do is go and capture Val because you captured Val Canto Brexius Toll is now your enemy. Okay, I should have guessed that would happen. Um, let's have a quick look here. Overview factions minus eighty. Okay, I think we can live with a tribe that don't like us. Later on, we make a bit of money, or perhaps we can release a few people. But at the moment, oh, hold on. Oh, we now have leaders, and one of them is Reasoning Bacchus, which you might remember from, was it the first series? Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. I wonder how that's going to feature in. So we have mayors, chiefs, and bosses. Okay, excellent. The Vengeance Band. Oh, such dramatic names. Okay, so... Yeah, possibly a bad idea. It's going to lead us to more combat down the line, but it's only tries people who aren't actually that bad until you start getting several hundred of them attacking us. So, character. Wounded, imprisoned, hungry, very tired. Health. 
Ooh, not in a good state, but fixable. He was a mad scientist, then became a war chief. Nervous, abrasive, and cold tolerant. Cold tolerant is probably going to be good. A nervous and abrasive can be slightly annoying, but we'll deal with that when we deal with that. So, okay, so let's have you. Recruitment difficulty 60. To be totally honest, you're probably not worth the effort now, but uh, never mind. We've started. Let's carry on and let's make that a medical bed so that you actually get some proper treatment. There we go. All right. Yeah, not much construction going on. But that should actually start picking up fairly soon. Uh, mining is starting, that's great. Hay House has done a good bit of doctoring there by the looks of it. Always good. Ah, this is the reason why we haven't done much construction done because we're still working on this. Let's see if we can speed this up a little bit by putting a cut plants order for everything here. That Hopefully that means that somebody else will jump onto it as well. Let's see, the crops are growing. They're growing well. All in all, our little base is started to come together. Not too bad at all. Hay House is having a chat with Val there, which apparently involves sitting on him. I suppose it's one way of enticing people to start working here. And start to work on the power generation now. And of course they work on the one which isn't easy to connect. But what I'm thinking about, that power, power conduit, we're going to need one there. And we'll put a bit of power conduit in the wall. And... Just start off with a standing lamp there. That's great. Plenty of uh, mushrooms growing in here, which I don't particularly want at this point, but it's still nice to see. I do like them. That's quite a nice idea. And Val, what state are you in? Health, yeah. We all coming together nicely. Uh, yeah, no injuries. Wonderful. You've healed up nicely. So let's see if we can get you on the team. Uh, as soon as I actually get power in here, you'll get a light in there, don't worry about it. Hey, how so you're naked. Um, gear, that's what I want. No, you're wearing trousers, okay. Right, no trading capacity, need grave. Suppose we should bury him. Let's make a dumping stockpile for now. Zone. Dumping stockpile. Just put it there. Alright, exhaustion. Lane, why are you exhausted? Health. Thoughts. Of low expectations, but you're happy because you sowed plants. Nice. There we go. That'll get you resting. And because you've been treated, let's just make that a prisoner bed. There we go. Right. Oh, yeah. That's why. There we go. There we go, you can rest in a, a sleeping spot as opposed to just on the floor. There, that's going to be enough um, power for now, I should imagine, those two. And there we go, we have light. So, let's get a conduit into there like that. And standing lamp in there, that'll make him a bit happier. I don't know why he's worried. He's got his very own gleam cap to light the room up. He doesn't even count. He's in darkness anymore, which is great. Now, that light is luxury. Okay, so. We have our... Well, we have a basic setup. We have sleeping area. We're starting to get some rooms made. 
I think we're going to need to start sorting out a few bits and pieces soon. But the first thing I want to do is uh, production. Let's get a cook stove in here and a butcher table in here. Structure walls there, there, and we'll put some doors in here, here, and here. And that's going to start our, our structure together. And the zone, we'll just have a little stockpile here. Okay, and that will be storage, clear all, preferred. And all we're going to do is we're going to put meals there. So that's going to be where meals get dropped for now. Um, any, any captured... Uh, any core cool animals or all, all farm produce are going to go in here. So, and I think we'll actually let's deny people access to those six meals. And while I'm thinking about it. Let's get that hair killed. There we go, right. Because I don't want it in there eating our food. Ooh, okay, slight mistake in here. Storage. Yeah, okay, we need... Um, let's put a zone in here. Zone. Stockpile. Don't want the, the animals dumped because uh, we actually want to, to save the stuff. So we're going to put, we'll put raw food in there, which does not include drinks. So where are drinks? Items? No. Uh, Manufactured textiles, medicine. Okay, medicine. We're going to want to put herbal medicine in there, I should imagine. Which we did last time around. Refrigerate hops. Um, where would they be? Manufactured meals. Ah, there we go. Beer. Let's put beer in there for now. Frozen beer is horrible, but uh, I should imagine it is going to go bad over time, so we'll at the very least want to refrigerate it. And yes, I think that'll do for now. We'll expand that out when that all gets mined. Um, there we go, and that's the start putting that rabbit up there or just drop it and leave it just dropped it and left it I think no right okay they'll get there in the end it's not really that we wanted the meat it's we wanted it to not eat the food okay six percent chance yeah okay that's not too bad I'm not too too bothered about that there we got some doors in place and there's the cooking Okay, so let's start setting up some bills here. So we'll add a bill, butcher creature. So any creature in that room, do forever. Mhm. Mm Animal corpses, not human corpses. Excellent. Okay, and. Let's get some cooking going, shall we? I had a bill. Cook a simple meal. Okay, I want to save the meat until winter, so we'll just do vegetarian meals for now. And lower the search radius so it's just inside that room. Do you see the line going around there? And we will do that until we have. That's six to start off with. That'll do nicely. So our food started. 
uh, mining is going on well. We'll just get this last bit done, and then I'm going to do the bedrooms. And I've no idea how long we've got on, but I think this is probably a good place to stop. I think we've made a good start here, so that's going to be the end of our first episode. And I think we've hit the ground running. Food is being created. Just potatoes. I hope they find some salt. But we'll pick this up again next week. Hopefully this won't go as badly as the others have. Looks like we might be having some power problems, but we'll deal with those next episode. Until then, I've been Simon Parsons. This has been The Rimworld. Thank you and good night.